last week on Sailing Bagheera. We visited the outer reef. We went to Bait Reef and Hardy's Reef, where we snorkeled and saw abundant fish life. And then we continued our journey around the Wet Sundays. This week we started off at Langford Island. From there we cruised up to Butterfly Bay. We had been before, but this time we go snorkeling. The snorkeling here was pretty good. There was certainly an abundance of fish life, and it looked like the colour of the coral was starting to come back. After a short stay at Butterfly Bay, we travel to Border Island. Border Island. Got courtesy moorings, quite a few there. Usually it's quite busy in tourist time, but today only one boat, so you know, looking forward to having it's almost to ourselves. Getting used to this. Nice walking track the hill by the looks of it. We popped the mooring wall and got four little visitors already. The funny thing about the boating community is that you keep running into each other. We met Brian and Jody a couple of days before at Langford Island. Nice to meet Brian and Jody from Real Busy. <laughs> There you are. It's Hook Island in the distance. This is Catarin Bay. The gear is the only boat in there. We're on Border Island, and uh, this peak here is called Moss Trooper Peak. Island in the background is DeLorean Island. I think that's with Sunday Island in the background. And we're back on the board. Hook Passage in between with Sunday Island and Hook Island. I'm going to try to get around to Nara Inlet. See how we go, depending on the weather. A bit of a change coming through. I just rounded the corner into Nara Inlet. Keen to have a bit of a look in here. Apparently, there's some beautiful waterfall right at the end and some Aboriginal carvings. You need to get right up as far as you can to keep out of the uh, trade winds. So hopefully you can find a nice spot up here. It's lovely. <laughs> 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 
shoo it away. <laughs> Murray, go on. You go shoo go it away. On. Go on. No, I like birds. <laughs> Murray's out there chatting to this cockatoo and he will not shoo it away. And it's been pooing everywhere and it's right over our bedroom hatch. Good. Off you go. See? Easy as that. Now you've got to clean up the poo. So we're trying to find the cave with Aboriginal carvings in it and we're thinking this isn't it. <laughs> I have to keep looking. So we found the entry to the uh, walk. Here's our boat anchored down the end. So it's back in and around this little inlet, sandy inlet, but you probably possibly only see it low tide. This is asking permission for the Naro people asking to come on their land. Touch the handprint. Thank you. So we walked to the cave and looked at the Aboriginal artwork. We were awed by the fact that people had lived here for thousands of years. Even then they had an appreciation for a waterfront view. a boat we all have our little obsessions. This is Cheryl's. Had like three layers of paint on it so I'm trying to get it back maybe repaint it but it'd be just easy if Murray bought me a new marine toilet. So when you invite friends over for sundowners drink and they come in their boat, <laughs> the big boat. <laughs> Here comes Bella Amore and their crew and friends for a drink. <laughs> so we've been anchored in our inlet right at the end uh, for a few days, hiding out from the high winds. There has been a bit of swell, but mainly only really in the afternoon when there's been just about low tide, and then uh, after that, pretty good. So we've had some, you know, decent night's sleep, and uh, now we're ready to head out. Uh, we're hoping the wind's not too bad once we get out um, of the end of the inlet out into the open, but we think it's time to move on now. So we move from Nara Inlet back to Sid Harbour. We stay one night at Sid Harbour. From Sid Harbour we move to Happy Bay, Long Island. We've come over to Sid Harbour this morning. It's been a bit of a miserable wet trip. I'm just going to come over to Happy Bay, which is just outside Shoot Harbour. It's an old abandoned resort here, but we're going to stop here for the night and hopefully catch up with our friends Deb and Tim from Haranga. We haven't seen for just over three weeks. They've been getting some repairs done and they're finally heading north again. Hopefully they arrive safely. Uh, we're coming ashore at Happy Bay. We've just met the caretaker and so we're going for a walk over to Palm Resort. Resort is still an operational resort, uh, but they are closed at the moment because of the coronavirus.
So this is a moment we're very happy to see. Deb and Tim back in action, coming for a visit at Happy Bay. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> Tim and Deb come over for sundowners and dinner and we discuss old times. And that's where we're going to leave it this week, but we're going to continue on with our series about how we started. Ready? Guess what? Okay. okay, so you've decided to buy a boat. And like us, you've got no sailing experience. What do you do? What we did is we went and did a course down in Sydney Harbour. It was a bare boat charter course. Uh, these are held everywhere. Um, so. This one was with East Coast Sailing, in case anyone's interested. Yeah, but you could do it with anyone, it doesn't matter. They're all pretty well, just <coughs> basic sailing courses and introduction to things like how to anchor. Um, you know, just it's not a rules thing, but it does show, give you some idea of what you should be doing and shouldn't be doing on the, on the water. So that's where we started. It was a two day sailing experience for us. Uh, it was a two-pronged two attack for us. One, we wanted to learn how to sail a bit better. And secondly, I wanted to make sure that Cheryl wasn't going to get seasick. However, but, Murray felt a bit sick on the day, but it was good to know that, yes, life on a boat would be okay. It felt right. And um, yeah, Murray picked up a lot of things that reinforced his prior knowledge of sailing and just helped him to know that he could actually manage sailing a boat and I could actually steer it without crashing so that was all good. Yes, now I picked up most of my sailing experience once we'd actually bought the boat um, which we bought at the Gold Coast uh, in Queensland and I had to sail it down to the central coast of New South Wales and because I didn't have any sailing experience really we went onto a website called Find a Crew and got a couple of guys uh, off the website to help us sail the boat down. You can have uh, two options. You can either pay someone to do this uh, and they're professional boat uh, movers, Delivery. boat deliveries, or you know, people who have sailed before and don't have a boat now or are just happy to pass their knowledge on. We chose the latter because that costs us nothing basically. All you have to do is uh, cover the expenses and uh, pay for the airfares for them. Either, either to get there or yeah, to get home, depending. Yeah. So it was a low cost way for us to uh, get the boat delivered to us. And in the meantime, I think it took us about um, a week to do because we did run into some bad weather and had to hold up. Um, but that week was invaluable to me. I learned what the boat was capable of through osmosis, I picked up um, you know, a lot of knowledge off these guys when we were sitting around uh, at dinner time and that sort of thing. Uh, we did a couple of night sails, which I'd never done before. So, you know, I picked up a lot of things that way. So that's another way you can learn, um, your get some experience. Okay, so that's where we started. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and feel free to leave a comment below. We appreciate your feedback.